everyone. I'm glad and excited that you've joined us. Today, we're gonna talk about the Thunderbolt cable. I really wanna get into comparing the Thunderbolt 3 versus the Thunderbolt 4, because I think this is information that you should know going forward. Listen, for years and years, I have researched on my own about these cables because it's a little bit confusing. The Thunderbolt 4 supports up to four 4K monitors or one 8K monitor. The Thunderbolt 3, however, only supports up to a dual 4K monitors or one 5K monitor. So essentially, the Thunderbolt 3 can do just about all the same things as the Thunderbolt 4. At first glance, it's really hard to be able to tell the difference in how the cable looks on the Thunderbolt 3 versus the Thunderbolt 4. Both of these cables share the exact same USB-C connector, and both cables have a top speed of 40 Gbps. Thunderbolt 3 cable is fully supported by Thunderbolt 4, which means you can plug your Thunderbolt 4 cable into a Thunderbolt 3 port. We can all have a sigh of relief. All Thunderbolt 3 cables are compatible with Thunderbolt 4. I wanna warn you though, there's no guarantee you're gonna get the same speed as you would if you were using a Thunderbolt 4 cable. The Thunderbolt 4 does not raise any features or specifications from the Thunderbolt 3. However, it does raise the bar of support. You're talking about faster speed and greater bandwidth when it comes to if you're downloading videos or if you're just simply hooking up an outside device to your computer. While I am comparing both cables, the Thunderbolt 4 in most ways is just a software upgrade. You have to have the latest operating system or it's not the latest anymore, but at, at the time that I researched this, you needed Big Sur to be able to use the Thunderbolt 4. I wanna talk for just a moment about the Thunderbolt 3. I wanna explain it. The Thunderbolt 3 uses a connector that can be connected to all USB devices, or I should say the Thunderbolt does use the USB connector, but not all cables, connections, devices support the Thunderbolt 3. This means that the USB device is compatible with the Thunderbolt connection. The Thunderbolt 3, unfortunately, is not compatible to the USB connection. Is that confusing enough? Hopefully not. Pretty much the USB-C and the Thunderbolt is, for the most part, the same type connection. Side note to Apple users, Apple users, please hear me. Only use Apple cables for your ports and whatever you're using. Get authentic Apple cables. I've seen too many times where computers have been overheating or the core's gotten hot and it's just zapped the computer and the computer is no longer functioning because it was a generic cable. I don't want to see that happen to anybody out there. So please just use Apple authentic cables. I've even purchased cables online through eBay. This applies to every cable. I don't like to hook. I'm even afraid nowadays to hook up anything. Not that I'm saying that it doesn't work, but I've just had issues because of a generic cable that was going to mess up the entire system. And some systems it did mess up. A question that I came across is, does the Thunderbolt 4 require a special cable? So to that, I will answer that the Thunderbolt 4 requires the USB connector. The Thunderbolt 4 is just like the Thunderbolt 3 in that it's backwards compatible to all of USB standards. Hey guys, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Any further questions that we can assess you, maybe I can answer them. If not, I don't mind researching. I will tell you if I don't know the answer because I don't have the answer to every question. Let's try to get a dialogue going on in the comment section. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. That notification bell is your friend. I'm researching daily, weekly, trying to provide value to your everyday life and what you use in computers and technology. Thank you.